Nearly 10 months after its ratification, the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement continues to gain popularity not just in Kenya, but around the East African region. Now, youth entrepreneurs in the country, especially those from the SME sector, have been asked to take advantage of this agreement to expand their businesses beyond the Kenyan market. Now, SMEs in this country have faced various challenges, including access to finance, access to market, and access to information and business technology. Stakeholders have projected the agreement as the key to improving trade between African countries. Currently, intra-Africa trade is less than 13% compared to other regions including Europe and Asia, which are above 60%. We must make it possible for Africa to trade with one another that way, more products will be manufactured in Africa. That way, more of our young men and women will get jobs and they will be able to create business opportunities for themselves as well. East Africa Community and Regional Development Cabinet Secretary Adan Mohamed was speaking during a roundtable meeting with stakeholders from the macro, small and medium enterprises. To improve the region's competitive edge against superior economies and other regions, the ESC has agreed on four major key pillars, including a custom union that uses one custom tariff, a common market that will enable free movement of goods, people, capital and services, a monetary union with a single currency and a singular political federation. Until you have all these institutions formalized and we are able to get uh, this working, we will remain individual countries and we will remain uncompetitive and investors who want to come here becomes, you know, a group of people who find this market too small and therefore not worthwhile investing. Despite the opportunities available within the agreement, a majority of the youth remain oblivious. As such, the government, private sector and civil societies will have to take up the responsibility to ensure the information of the trade agreement reaches a majority of Kenyans. By the time this sort of information gets to the grassroots, it's going to have to be a multifaceted approach. That means people in the churches, families, in the schools, because we're not talking about youth who are just past 18. Right now you can get business owners who are below the age of 18, but right now to get official documentation you have to be an adult. While the benefits of the agreements are many, entrepreneurs in Kenya and the region are yet to reap the benefits of the agreement as various countries and regions are making policy changes to accommodate the new agreement. Meanwhile, youth in Kenya and the region will have to wait a little bit longer for that to happen. For Metropole TV, I'm Vincent Odiambo.